Hey everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another movie review. I'm here with Nicole from Nix and Max. We just did a video on her channel for Mad Max Fury Road review and we were so excited about that movie. But mm. this movie is one of our most anticipated of the year. Yep. Pitch Perfect 2, which is the sequel to 2012's Pitch Perfect. Now, we have all of the characters and actors returning. We have Anna Kendrick as Becca, Rebel Wilson as Fat Amy, <laughs> and Brittany Snow as Chloe. And basically, the Barton Bellas have been sensations for three years now, just reigning champions. But after a situation at uh, President Obama's birthday party and Fat Amy gives them a show, mm. they are cut from the association of acapella and to be reinstated they must win the world championships. And they get put against this group called Das Sound Machine who are this <laughs> German a cappella group who are insanely good. So as a sequel, Pitch Perfect 2 has a lot of the same elements from the first movie. We have the same characters, but with like a new flow, a new director as well, yes. Elizabeth Banks directing. This movie is just all about girl power. We yes. have a diverse female cast, the diverse characters, although stereotypical characters. Yeah very diverse characters, we have a female writer and director. So mm -hmm. that was, it was really refreshing to see that in a comedy movie and as a sequel as well. We exactly. don't really get that many female-centered sequels going on. What I thought was good about it being the sequel was that it didn't feel like it had repetitive aspects to it. I mean, it was similar, but um, I liked they did more of the college experience and it didn't feel like it had the same things as the first one. So it felt new and refreshing sort of uh, twist on the first one so I was happy going into it that I wasn't seeing the same thing exactly we yeah. didn't get like the same sort of uh, go getting together performances then conflict they and resolving the and conflict. then they all like split up and then come back together I felt like they were, they were more of a connected group and that's yeah. what I like they all have really great chemistry and mm. the, the acting was really good again you know they were yeah, all we have like all the returning cast mm. members like Anna Kendrick Brittany Snow Rebel Wilson Skylar Austin Skylar Austin take a moment <laughs> take a moment to appreciate Skylar Austin and then we have uh, Emily, who was a new character, a new Bella, who was mm. a legacy, played by Hayley Steinfeld. I was really impressed with her, I really her liked acting her. and like her singing. And she was like this kind of excited freshman, and she did this so little like, like so giddy yeah, and everything. <laughs> yeah, I really liked her character. Gave the Bellas a new kind of sound. Yeah, but she was very like excited <laughs> yeah so she was a very different character to come into the group and i think she brought energy back into the, them as a group and yeah i really enjoyed her character and i didn't even know that she could sing you can just feel the energy bouncing off this cast you yeah. can tell they had like so much fun like making the movie yeah. elizabeth banks brings a lot of energy in her like directing style it felt like differently directed with like the scenes and stuff it didn't mm. flow as well as the first movie yeah at times it felt like there was this story and then this scene and it didn't feel like it flowed as much as the first movie. The first movie made sense in the direction it was going mm -hmm. when it came to story-wise and the plot. With this one it felt like there was a couple of different plots all working at the same time so it didn't feel like it worked as well together as a whole. Mm -hmm. It felt kind of choppy going from one place yes, to another. exactly. On the comedy side of Pitch Perfect, we have Rebel Wilson returning <laughs> as Fat Amy, who is probably everyone's favourite character. Oh my god. She hasn't got old yet, and her one-liners in the film are just perfection. <sighs> some, of, some of the comedy in the movie is very, like, raunchy and... Yeah, out, quite controversial, and, and it was just, like, in your face, and... Everyone in the crowd was just like, oh my god, as if they said that. John Smith. John Smith. The character. Um, the commentator. The, yeah, the commentator with Elizabeth Banks. I was just like, as if he's saying that, oh my god, but his character got away with it. You could see from the first one and the film as a whole and the style of it, it works. His character works, so he gets away with it. Yeah. It doesn't feel like insulting in any way. Yeah, I think. It, the comedy felt quite controversial when it yeah. came to like talking about different countries and stereotypes within those countries. Yeah, it was a bit like misogynistic. It was a lot, yeah, but it kind of makes up for it for the fact yeah, that it's exactly. all girl power and Elizabeth yeah. Banks pretty much shuts him down every, every single, single time. And just like, oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh, it's an embarrassment. <laughs> How can we talk about Pitch Perfect 2, a movie all about a cappella without talking about the music? I oh mean, my god. Just the, it stepped it up a notch. Oh, definitely. There I is so much it. more singing in this one as well. Yeah, which I don't, we really like because we're mm. massive musical people. So yeah, I think really it was music. cool, like because you had the plot of Becca starting as an intern, actually uh, trying to get into the industry as a producer. So you have 
that extra music side to it as exactly. well not just the acapella but her trying to get a profession like a career as a producer so I liked that part um, but Key I think his name is the guy who plays the, the like producer. the boss producer <laughs> everyone was saying from other reviews and people that I like seen talking about it um, they said that he was really really funny it's mm -hmm. the funniest he's ever been and he was I, one of like the funniest parts of the movie yeah well. I thought some of his jokes worked but he he wasn't as standout you know he didn't no. stand out as much as I thought he was going going to and I love him as a comedian mm -hmm. so I thought he was gonna be better I, I don't know maybe if it was just the writing his jokes just weren't as good but I just still found kind of fat Amy just the main she was the main and the commentators as well they're the main source of comedy in the movie humor, yeah. I love her and Bumper as well her and Bumper yeah. have an interesting relationship in this movie yeah, they, but it works yeah, it definitely fun. explores more of the characters it's not just Becca as the main focus exactly. in this movie anymore yeah. it's like Fat Amy Emily <laughs> and we got Aubrey back as well from yeah. the first movie because there's this whole boot camp scene where they're trying to find their sounds and this brings us back to the music like they were experimenting with different like genres yeah and, time periods and stuff they were going like back to basics and I really really like that scene yeah. it was all about the girls as a unit and the music the music is great in the movie yeah. I love seeing all the different acapella bands and like that whole riff off scene they yeah had. the riff offs are awesome I loved it I thought because they had it in the first film as well this one was just as good and I really liked it it like it's meant to have good music and it did I thought it was refreshing and they definitely stepped it up when it came to music wise yeah there was a lot more different techniques stepping yeah. up like with the different genres like the sound machine as a yeah. group they were really kind of yeah, robotic and their music style mm. was a lot different to what the bellas were because it's a world championships so obviously they explored it's like other countries and that kind of thing exactly. so i thought that was fun that they yeah. went in that direction too the music's a lot a lot of fun in this movie we yeah. have like this nfl group that just make a cameo and sing <laughs> booty like, delicious oh, so like, okay <laughs> i'm welcome to that like why not <laughs> so all in all we had a really fun time watching pitch perfect 2 i wasn't disappointed but it wasn't as good yes, as the first one exactly we had some pacing issues and like it didn't flow as well as the first one i may have to have multiple viewings of it really yes, to get definitely. to my love scale of the first one mm, as well. seen seen the first one so many times, so many times. maybe re-watching this one a lot a lot more you might be at the same level exactly yes. since we had such a fun time watching this movie had a lot of laughs and so much cool girl power yeah. we're both giving it a win rating and i finally got nicole to do a rating and a review if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and go check out our Mad Max Fury Road review on Nicole's channel and if you've seen Pitch Perfect 2 tell us what you thought of it down below in the comments like what were your favorite elements and what was your favorite group if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and go subscribe to Nicole at Nicks and Nax. and both our Twitter information will be down below in the description as well thank you guys for watching I will see you very very soon bye I love him so much. Shit in the bloopers.